There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is Starship Columbus. The captain's words are still ringing in your head. You've failed the maturity test required of all citizens of the Columbus. This test is necessary so that only those who meet the highest physical, mental and genetic standards will carry on the goals of a race as we travel to the new world. You are now offered the choice of death by laser beam or going out into the abandoned corridors to live as you may. Remember that even in your death you will have served the Columbus well. You are now in the execution chamber of a starship Columbus. Before the platform on which you are standing, a laser projector is aimed directly at your heart. On one side, your parents look on glumly. By the open door on the east, a guard with a sonic gun looks out nervously into the corridor. The captain of the Columbus stands with his hand on the firing switch of the death ray, waiting out your last chance to accept exile rather than death. Speak up, I can't hear you. I choose death. Laser. I don't understand. Choose death. Doesn't know the word choose. Oh no. Um, let's see. Talk to captain. The captain doesn't seem especially interested in your last words. Say to captain, I choose death. I don't know the word say. North. You can't go that way. <laughs> the captain congratulates you on accepting your fate with courage. He presses the button and you feel a sudden shock. It lasts only a fraction of a second. Then everything is over for you. Would you like to start over? Yes. Uh, okay. So we have to find a way to choose the corridors. What happens if we go south? Can't go that way. East. Aha. You hear several gasps as you step out the door into the regions from which no one has returned. As you pause for a last look at your parents, the guard slams the door in your face and locks it. You're in an east-west corridor whose walls are painted light blue. The door to the west is an airlock door, which is closed and locked. Most of the lighting panels are burned out, but enough are still glowing to guide your way. The entire area is dusty and feels as if no one has passed through here in years. On the north is a metal door with a small sign reading Ward A. And on the south is a similar door with a sign reading Ward B. So Ward A or Ward B. Uh, let's go north. You are in a large room containing six stripped bed frames. Try saying that fast. Six stripped bed frames. Possibly once a ward of an abandoned medical facility. Everything of interest has been removed from this room, and the dust lies undisturbed over everything. So, guess we're going south. This is a large room containing five bed frames, not six, and nothing else. Even the mattresses have been removed. Once patients may have been treated here, but it seems that nothing living has entered since the last time someone accepted exile over a year ago. Oh. Hmm. So we've had a look. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything else. Because the airlock door is closed, so when we try and go west, we can't go that way. Because we went east to escape. Hmm. So the question is, what do we do from here? We've been north, we've been south. There's probably something in those rooms. But uh, it's beyond me. So that's the game. It's a text adventure game. It's quite verbose. It's well described. And yeah, I could see text adventure fans getting a kick out of this sort of dystopian science fiction setting. 
But obviously, I'm trapped in the corridor for the rest of time, so I can't really be of much aid with regards to showing you the rest of the game. If you like me getting hopelessly lost in text adventure games, it happens almost all the time. And if you like graphical games, boy do I have a surprise for you. I have hundreds of other videos on the channel. Feel free to take a look. And if you like what you see there, feel free to subscribe. Let's take uh, one last look at Ward A. Yep, everything of any interest has been removed from this room. So I guess that's us. Until next time.